Well, that's just great. I'm trying to hang out with her family. I'm trying to put in an effort here. And then they literally just walk away from me. They don't even try. Are they that mad at me? It's Sunday today and literally the only thing I feel like doing is play The Sims, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. This is episode 16 of my short lifespan legacy challenge. I think we have a couple of birthdays coming up, so that's very exciting. And we also moved out Sylvia last time, so I think we should try and see if her girlfriend wants to move in with her. So let's jump right into the game. So here we have Sylvia in her little house. If you don't remember, I moved her in across the street. So we have our family's home right here. And then Sylvia moved in across the street. I did swap out a little bit of the furniture because there was some very ugly furniture in here. And even though we're not really gonna play with this household anymore, I still feel better leaving her in a house that's a little bit more her style. I just changed out the furniture and now it looks a little bit more modern and a little bit more like Sylvia's style. I think I wanna try and invite Sky over and see if we can have her move in with us. That would be very exciting. So let's call her up and see. Here she is. Oh, why are you sad? What's up with you? Let's just give her a heartfelt compliment and uh, have a little bit of a deep conversation. See what's up with her. She is heartbroken for some reason. Why? <gasps> Something went very wrong here. Why? And we also still can't ask her to be our girlfriend, which I think is kind of weird. So, oh no. I think I asked her if she is single and I think she said yes the first time. Yes, yeah, see, she is single. Okay, so that's good. For a second there, I was kind of scared that she might be like married or something, but she is not enjoying us trying to be romantic with her. So I don't know what's up with this. Well, I'm gonna ask her to join our household anyway. So she's gonna move in with us. We're not gonna steal any of of their money. See, I don't know who this person is, but I think we will find out soon. Oh no, is that her son? Did I just abandon? Oh, it's her brother. Oh, okay, good. For a second there, I thought that this was going to be her son, but that's not even possible because she's a young adult. Okay, so there is no need to stress about this. She was living with her brother and everything should be fine. But I still kind of really want to see if we can make this relationship official, but I think it's not really working right now. We can't even kiss her. Like, I, I don't know what's going on here but every romantic interaction seems to be failing this is kind of stressful actually hey kaylin is coming over let's just ask about her day i still really want to try and see if we can fix this but i mean let's just pretend that they moved in as as friends or just like as roommates to split the rent because we do have two bedrooms as you can see so we can kind of pretend that sky is sleeping in this bedroom and sylvia is sleeping in this bedroom and there is a little bit of romance going on but they're just not sure about it i mean I'm not sure if it's the best decision to become roommates if there is a little bit of awkward romance going on. Okay, let's try this again. I still really want to try. Now the flirting is working again, so that's good. Let's see if we can kiss her. I mean, Kaylin is right there, but it's fine. Oh, it's working. Okay, that's good. Maybe Sky was just a little bit too sad before, but I feel like it's still kind of weird that we can't ask her to be our girlfriend. That's just kind of strange still. I mean, we can have them woo. I think that's working. Yeah, that's definitely working. Okay, well, I feel a lot better about leaving these two now. This makes me feel a lot better. Okay, good. We're just gonna save this, go to Manage Worlds and go back to our legacy family because I think we have a couple of birthdays in the morning, which is very exciting. Oh, Oh, Miles is very tense from work withdrawals. He doesn't feel comfortable missing work. You missed work? Why? I never told you to. What's up with our little, um, with our little toddler? Oh, she is very, very tired. And Miles is actually already putting her to bed. What are the kids doing? The kids are fine. I feel like, well, I mean, they're not even tired yet, but they should go to bed pretty soon. Oh, Hunter has been sent to daycare. Why? Oh, Miles is going to work now. Everything is kind of confusing right now. I don't really know what's going on. It seems like he's due for a promotion, so let's see what happens with that too. Hunter was sent to daycare, which is kind of annoying. Kaylin, can you please come home? Yeah, see now Hunter is going back to bed. Oh yeah, Kaylin is still very sad because she lost both her parents last episode, which is really, really sad. Oh, I had Nick eat meat again. Why does this keep happening? It keeps happening with Miles and now it keeps happening with Nick as well. I'm terrible at taking care of vegetarians in this game. I'm not actually telling them to eat meat. I'm just telling them to eat leftovers and then they grab something with meat in it. Look at her little cinnamon. I still think she is so pretty. Aww. Hi, little buddy. It's past midnight. Why is no one tired? I'm sorry, but you're gonna go to sleep. Hi, Sandra. Are you here to break my stuff? I hope not. I don't want you to break my things, okay? Rebate day was awful. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't buy you anything. Hey, since you're up, 
just introduce yourself to your dead grandma. I think your dead grandma would enjoy that. And after that, you kind of can go back to sleep. Why are you up? Did you have a nightmare again? Just go back to sleep, little one. It's fine. Miles is back? Well, did you get a promotion? There's something weird going on. I'm not getting any notifications about him going to work or anything. It's so weird. Anyway, everyone is in terrible moods. Do I want the kids to age up before school or after school? I think after school so that they have one day of school left and then we can age them up and then they can have school the next day again, which is nice. We'll just have them wake up soon and then they can have some breakfast. Miles, why? What are you yelling for? What's up with you? Oh, oh, he's a workaholic. That's why. Well, why don't you just go to work on your day off? Isn't that something that you can do? Yeah, go to work on off hours because he's a workaholic. And when is little Hunter's birthday? Oh, Hunter's birthday is tomorrow. And Hunter is also very hungry. So why don't we pick her up and put her downstairs so that she can have some food before she starts yelling at me. Kids are going to school, so that gives us time to um, bake a cake for their birthday too. And the toddler is also very stinky, so after food, we'll give you a bath. Don't worry about it. Oh no, the sink is broken. Oh, I'm actually really happy that it's Hunter's birthday tomorrow too because toddlers stress me out a little bit. Like, oh my goodness, I don't want them to be hungry. I don't want them to be stinky. And it kind of stresses me out sometimes. But this bathroom is a disaster. Can you just fix everything and and then clean the litter box and then mop the floors. Did Kaylin dislike handiness? Well, sure. I mean, it's not very convenient, but if it's what it is, then it's fine. Her sister is inviting her to GeekCon. Well, I'm not gonna go to GeekCon with you, but maybe we can like go to a cafe later and just catch up with her sister a little bit. Hey, Miles is back. Are you just peeing on the toilet that we just cleaned? Why are you so tense? I don't want you to be tense. What can we do about that? Maybe you can like take a shower. Does that help? First, let's actually bake a cake for our kids that we're gonna have to eat ourselves because Sylvia is no longer around to eat all of our leftover cake. Yvette wants to come over. Sure, you can come over. And can you just uh, pay the bills and maybe get the mail as well? I don't want to pay the bills. I want to buy Miles a rocket ship, but it's just, it's so expensive. Now you can just spend some time with your sister in the rain, apparently. They're just spending some time together, which is nice. Why are you so tense? Why is everyone so tense? Do you guys all need a vacation or something? Well, the kids are almost home, so that's exciting. Why don't you just go pee real fast? Why are you so sad? Oh, you're very tired. Okay, well, we will put the little one to bed for a nap. Let's quickly age these kids up before Caitlin has work. So let's start with Madeline. She was the first born, wasn't she? I think she was. There you go. Let's make a wish. Okay, let's pick a trait. One, two, three. A foodie. Okay, that's cool. For her aspiration, what do we want to pick? I feel like maybe she would want to take after her aunt Sylvia and she would maybe be in to nature because I was actually very excited about this freelance botanist thing that we gave Sylvia. But since Sylvia moved out, we can't actually play with that anymore. So let's do that. Or angling ace. The sim wants to know everything about fishing. That's fun. I've never done that before. Let's pick that one. I know it's kind of random, but it's okay. Let's go with fishing. Oh, there you go. We will give them makeovers in a second. It's fine. Let's go little buddy. Okay. Nick aged up. One, two, three. He's a romantic. Okay. That's interesting. Maybe we can give him a love aspect. Maybe he wants to be a serial romantic. I think that's fun. I love looking at my Sims aging up. I think that's so fun. I mean, this is definitely an outfit though. I don't think that this is what you would want to wear. It is fall right now, so we can give him something a little bit more autumnal. I think that this purple sweater is really fun though. Maybe with these pants and then we can give him some cool sneakers. I don't like his hair. We will be fixing that soon. Maybe we can give him these sneakers. Are these fun? I think these are pretty cool actually. I'm not the best at makeovers. I'm not the best at like fashion and stuff, but I'm trying my best. Okay, what kind of hair? We want him to be curly. Maybe we should give him this hair. I think that's good. He looks good. I like this. I like this curly hair on him. Okay, what else is he wearing? I mean, I don't really care. Well, I mean, I care enough that I don't want him to wear this. This is just, you can't, you can't wear this. This is terrible. How about this brown suit? I'm not really a fan of the earrings, so we'll take these out, but I like this brown suit. It's something different and it definitely suits him. I mean, his workout clothes are fine. This is fine. His PJs are fine. Party wear. What's up with the weird hats? For the rest though, it's actually kind of a fun outfit. It's a little bit weird, but it suits him. This is fine. His hot weather. No, this is not fine. Maybe he can wear something like this with that. Or like a tucked in shirt. I like this. This is CC that I downloaded like a very long time ago, but it's still in my game and I kind of like it. So we can give him this for hot weather. That's fine. And then 
again for cold weather, again with the hats. I mean, I like this sweater. I actually really like that sweater. Maybe just with some different pants. Yeah, okay, I think this is fun. Okay, well, that's Nick. Now let's take a look at Madeline. Okay, so I quickly went ahead and gave Madeline a little makeover as well. I gave her these little space buns. I think that this hair looks so good on her. It's a CC hair. It's by A Hair is O Brittany. So you can download it from them if you want to. I think that this hair looks very cute on her. And I gave her this cute little outfit. I think that this suits her very nicely. I mean, keep in mind, she's going to be very much into like fishing, which is very random, but something fun. So she's not that much like into fashion and makeup, I don't think. I think she enjoys wearing stuff that's comfortable. I really like this little dress for hot weather on her as well. And then this outfit for cold weather is really fun. But yeah, that's Madeline and Nick. I think they look really cool. Now we definitely also need to fix their bedrooms. Maybe we'll just have them stay in, this, in these bunk beds for one more night. And then tomorrow, when Hunter ages up, we can actually swap around the bedrooms. Because I was thinking of giving this bedroom to Hunter because there's already a toy box in here and there's a little bit more room to play. And then Nick and Madeline can stay up here. Maybe we can actually keep this bedroom pretty much exactly like this for Madeline. And then we will turn this bedroom into Nick's bedroom. And I feel like someone should be taking care of these plants because this looks terrible. Maybe Madeline can be into gardening as well. Hey, Miles is home. You're still very tense and in a terrible mood. Well, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Just spend some time with your family, I guess. Are you eating cake upstairs? Why? Oh my goodness, did she prank this toilet again? I'm not using it because it will break. A local animal shelter has invited Kaylin to MC their fundraiser, but she forgot to prepare. Should she mine the internet for animal jokes or wing it and hope for the best? Just wing it. Oh, that didn't turn out so well. Performance loss, small. Oh no, I want you to get a promotion. You can use this toilet. And then maybe just do some gardening and have her like gardening. I think that that's a good idea. And you can just watch a movie with your son, Miles, because you guys, you both need a little bit of fun. So, hey, Sylvia's out here. She's like, what are you doing with my plants? Well, you didn't bring them with you when you moved out. So, hey, little cinnamon. No, where are you going? Come back, Madeline. I need you to weed this plant. Oh no, it's raining. Kaylin is home and did not get promoted. I already figured. That's fine. We were gonna have her hang out with her sister today, but yeah, that just really didn't happen, did it? Can you just take a shower, Madeline, and then you need to go to bed? And then tomorrow we have another birthday in the morning. That's exciting. Little Hunter will be aging up. Did you break the sink? We'll just replace it. It's not expensive. I love it when the cats sleep like this. Oh my god, that's so cute. Look at her. Hey, Peanut, what's up? Are you hanging out in the puddle? Good morning, Nick. Why are you scared? Are you scared of Peanut? Don't be scared of Peanut. It's fine. You can just wake up, Madeline, and uh, have a little bit of breakfast too. Too. Just a family breakfast. And then when you're done, Kaylin, you actually need to cook another or bake another cake because little Hunter is aging up. There's so many birthdays. I mean, that just keeps happening because it's short lifespan. There's pretty much a birthday every other day. Oh, everyone is going to school and going to work. Okay, another birthday cake, another birthday. Let's add some candles to that thing. And then let's have Hunter blow out the candles. Oh, it's Harvest Fest tomorrow. Okay, Hunter aged up. Let's give her a treat. One, two, three. Green Fiend, okay. Everyone seems to be into gardening this generation. Let's be honest, we're not really gonna work on the aspiration, but it's fun to have one. Aw, hi little Hunter. You look so much like your dad. We will give you a quick little makeover soon. She is so tired, why? But since Madeline is a teen now, I think we should also try and focus on meeting some people because Madeline is going to be our heir and she's a teenager now. So maybe she can already find someone that she likes. We can like carefully start looking, I feel like then soon we will be playing with gen 3. Well actually not that soon. I mean how old are these people? Kaylin still has 10 days before she becomes an elder so that's good. Miles five days so he's a little bit closer to becoming old but it's fine. Let's actually quickly look at Hunter and Cass and see what we can do for her. Oh she definitely looks so much like her dad. Maybe we can give her this little braid from Cottage Living. That's so cute. Or this one. This is even cuter. Oh yeah this is really 
really cute. Let's give her this one. And then, I mean, since she enjoys being outside, we might as well just give her one of the um, Cottage Living outfits as well. I mean, I am just looking for any excuse to use Cottage Living because I love the cast from that pack. I think this looks cute on her. Yeah, she looks really cute. Okay, that did not take much effort at all. She is just such a cute kid. But um, you can just take a nap if you want to. You're so tired. And then you, we can have you actually hang out with your sister and your brother maybe for a second. Is there like a cafe somewhere around here that we can go to? Let's go here. Let's go with um, Carmen is why what's with the outfit i mean it's okay and we will actually have her spend some time with her family because i feel so bad about totally neglecting her family i never took the time out of my day to properly get to know her family um carmen are you seriously running away i want to hang out with you why are you running away from me well Carmen doesn't seem to be interested in hanging out with us. And why aren't you talking to your brother? This family is really strange. Um, hello? Can you please just talk to your brother? Okay, good. It's finally working. He is our brother, right? Just to make sure. Yeah, he's our brother. And we're childhood buds. Okay, that's good. And he's married to Yui. Okay. Never met her. I mean, once again, I'm a terrible sister. Are you... Well, that's just great. I'm trying to hang out with her family. I'm trying to put in an effort here. And then they literally just walk away from me. They don't even try. Are they that mad at me? I mean, granted, we haven't talked to them for years. They have never met our kids. Well, Carmen came over the other day. She met our kids, but yeah, we totally neglected them. I mean, I get it. They're pissed off. I understand. Fine, but we're trying. You can at least just talk to us. This is very disappointing. And now she's just dancing by herself. I'm sorry, Kaylin. Life is a little bit rough for you at the moment. I'm so sorry. Well, you know what? We'll just go back home and then when the teens come back, we will actually try and go fishing with Madeline because I was thinking that I kind of really want... Just a quick side note. What is this? What is Sky wearing on her head? Anyway, I kind of want to see if I can get a cow plant berry because I've never had cow plants in The Sims, which I mean, at some point I'm sure I've had a cow plant, but I can't remember. And I think since Madeline is so much into fishing, Maybe we can go to Oasis Springs and see if we can catch a cowberry plant or a cowberry, cow plant berry. What? Cow plant berry, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Hi, do you want to hang out with us, Sylvia? She is always down. I love Sylvia. See, she's just loving living across the street. She can just pop by whenever she wants to. It's very exciting. Her fun is so low. I'll just quickly go and see if I can give her the fishing for a like. Let's see if we can put fishing as a like. Yes, we can. Okay, good. And then maybe gardening as well. Gardening? Yeah, good. Okay, so that we can go fishing and it will get her fun up. A little something. Side note from future me. I lost a few minutes of footage, but don't worry, you didn't miss much. We just had Madeline travel to the park in Oasis Springs and try to fish, but fishing seemed to be glitched for some reason, so it wasn't working. So instead, we focused on meeting a few teenagers that were spawning, and that was very successful. So we actually met some fun sims. But I like this guy. I like Gavin. I mean, I just instantly get the feeling that maybe they should start dating at some point. Not right now, they literally just met, but I think it could be be fun for them. I, I mean, I just kind of feel like they could start dating or maybe she could start dating this girl. I like her too. She's very cute. Let's try the fishing thing again. Yes, it's working. Oh, good. It's finally working. I'm so happy. Look at her fun going up. She's very hungry and we definitely need to go home soon. Maybe we can have her try and fish here in the back. See if we can catch something. I'm just going to teleport you real quick. I'm sorry. It's kind of cheaty. Okay. Well, the fishing thing is working. That's good. Then maybe next time Time, we should um, try and fish for a cow plant berry again. There's food out here. That's very convenient for us. Let's eat that. Okay, so I definitely need your help with this one. Where can I find a cow plant berry? Am I in the right spot here? Do I need to fish here or somewhere else? Or is there another way to get it? I kind of want to get it through fishing though since that's what she is into. So maybe we can do that. But uh, let me know. We should have her go home real quick though. So in the next part, we will definitely look for the cow plant berry some more. Okay, so we're home. Miles is in his astronaut outfit looking very cool. It's kind of late. Um, why are you still up, little hunter? You're not tired at all. You probably took a very long nap. But Miles actually got promoted, which is nice. Kaylin just got home from work as well. She did not get promoted, which is kind of annoying. It looks like she should have been promoted, but sadly she 
did not get promoted. And then I really, actually, I really want to buy Miles a rocket ship. But the thing is, they're like 4,000 simoleons and we only have 6,000 simoleons right now. So, so like on one hand, I kind of want to go ahead and not care about it and just buy him a rocket ship. You only live once. You can work on it. I think he will really enjoy it. And then we can go to space. But it's also very expensive. And I also want to save money and build a new house at some point. So let me know what you think. Should we just spend the money on buying a rocket ship or should we save it? Maybe we should not buy a rocket ship. And also let me know if you have any tips on how to find the cow plant berry through fishing. Um, let me know if you have any tips on that. And then I think on that note, I'm actually gonna leave the part right here. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below. You can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram if you'd like. My username on there is Simmery Sims. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you wanna be notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. So I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you.